We're not gonna talk about where specifically this lady is laying eggs. Instead, we're gonna talk about the perfect gentleman that is Don Juan, because if you'll notice, she is down here laying an egg in the dirt. She's very hot and he is here guarding her. Like the sweet, precious little boy he is. Would you like to see some of his sons who I'm raising out this season? Because I have to say, I am feeling really, really excited about them. Ooh, well, hello, sir. Like father, like son. Here we have son number one, who is Don Juan's direct predecessor. He is in here in this pen with Don Juan. Yes, I am talking about you. You really take just after your daddy. One of the things that I love about this guy, though, is his color. You can see Don Juan tends to be a little bit more on the mahogany side, whereas this guy really has that beautiful, illustrious copper, which we hope to see. And look at these girls taking to him already. Look at how he's taking the girls around the run while Don Juan is in here guarding the coop. I mean, this is like really top tier rooster behavior. This is pen number two. So if you get Black Hopper Moran's eggs from me and they're labeled BCM2, that's because they are underneath, ooh! This guy right here, he is also really beautiful. I love his type. I love his tail. I don't love his comb, although that's not like a huge deal. And I feel like his color could fill in a little more. The rooster who I have in Don Juan's pen right now, his color is filling out more on those saddle feathers and hackles. These guys are still relatively young too. They have probably at least six to eight more months of filling out and coloring out to do. Man, look at the way he's posing for us. Pen number three is actually a blue black slash olive agar pen, but everybody is underneath this Black Hopper Moran's rooster. And look, all of these guys are from the same hatch. This guy is similar to Don Juan in that he is very much on the mahogany side. Now, mind you, like he's not in the sun here, so we can't get like an accurate depiction of his color. We can for sure say that he's dark. We can also say that his comb is damn near perfect. He is nice and full bodied. His tail set is nice. He has a very nice type. I feel like my videoing isn't actually doing him justice. Although I do feel like videos do more justice than pictures. I am also pretty excited about this pullet in particular growing out and also this really pretty blue copper pullet growing out. I think they both look really nice. I also really like this lady. I wish that she had more copper. Plan with these pens is to really start hatching from them in the spring and labeling which pen each offspring is coming from just so I can see what each pairings are producing. I'm very excited. I've got another pen in the works out here that's going to be built hopefully within the next month. And so I can do like my final fall organization of all my grow outs from this spring and like beginning of summer. I have some beautiful birds y'all and I can't wait to show you, but I like don't want to jump the gun. I want to wait until I get everybody organized and then I want to do like a pen and breed tour. And I'll tell you about some of the projects that I've got planned for spring. Cause I'm like, I've got some really cool olive programs that I'm very excited about.